Hi there and welcome to another tutorial for the Edexcel Core 3 Maths A-Level Syllabus. This is another video on differentiation and it's going to be about using dx by dy. It, just looking at the scheme of work to start with, we started off uh, last video by talking about the chain rule. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to use the rule that dy by dx is 1 divided by dx by dy or the reciprocal of dx by dy. A very short and simple video. Let's start by looking at an example straight away. The rule that you need to be aware of is that dy by dx is 1 divided by dx by dy. Now where does this come from? Well it comes from the chain rule and thinking of dy by dx in a fraction way. Um, 1 divided by dx by dy, you can think of that as 1 multiplied by the reciprocal of dx by dy, which is dy by dx, and 1 times dy by dx is dy by dx. So you get it by thinking of this as, as, as a fraction in a way. So dy by dx is the reciprocal, really, of dx by dy. Why would you need this? Well, you might need this if you have, you are trying to work out dy by dx, the gradient function, but in the, you are given an expression or an equation where x is the subject of the formula. x is given in terms of y, and you are asked to work out the gradient function of that graph. So you'd have to use uh, this um, formula here. So let's do an example, and then I'll let you do one. It wants dy by dx, i.e. the gradient function. It wants the gradient function, and it wants it actually at the point x is 2, y is 1. So at x is 2, y is equal to 1. And this is our um, function here. This time we have x as the subject of the formula. x is equal to y cubed plus y. Previously when we were working out dy by dx, y was the subject of the formula, like 3x to the power of 4. And to work out dy by dx, you brought down the 4 and reduced the power by 1. You would have got 12x cubed. That's a previous type example. Here, x is the subject of the formula. Well, what you can do is you can differentiate with respect to y. You can say that dx by dy would be bringing down the power and reducing by 1, 3y squared plus 1. And then you can use the fact that dy by dx would be the reciprocal of this. dy by dx would be 1 divided by this here, 3y squared plus 1. So dy by dx would actually be 1 over 3y squared plus 1. And um, you th therefore you have um, your dy by dx. Now it's in terms of y's. There's no real problem with that at all because you are asked to find dy by dx at the point x is two, y is one. So what you can do is you can say dy by dx. You want to work this out when x is, is two, but that's the same as working this out when y is equal to one. So you can substitute one into this equation here and it would be 1 over 3, 1 squared plus 1, and it would in fact therefore be a quarter. So uh, the gradient function dy by dx at the point uh, 2, 1 would actually be a quarter. So what we've done here is x was the subject of the formula, x was in terms of y's, so we differentiated with respect to the variable y, then we use the fact that dy by dx was the reciprocal of dx by dy. And to work out the gradient function at a point x, y, we just substituted in the y value this time into our gradient function, rather than in the past we've always subbed in an x value. OK, one example for you to do. Pause the video. Have a go. OK, we have x as the subject of the formula, x is equal to 3y squared, subtract 2y. Differentiating with respect to y, dx by dy would therefore be 6y, subtract 2. 
using the fact that dy over dx is the reciprocal of dx by dy, dy over dx must be 1 over 6y subtract 2. And we want to find it out, we want to find dy over dx at the point x is 8, y is 2. Well, we have dy over dx in terms of y, so we are substituting the y value this time. dy over dx, when y is equal to 2, would be 1 over 6 times 2, take away 2, and that actually would work out as 1 over 10. And we're done. So that's all for this particular video. To finish with, I suggest you uh, read chapter 8, page 134 and 135, do those examples, and check you understand by actually doing its exercise um, 8A, uh, page 135, question 5. Thank you for watching.